Hey everyone, this is George Ingra here, georgeingraart.ca and I just want to quickly send out this video to a couple gentlemen, um, uh, Mark Nelson and, and Stephen Smith. You guys had an excellent and successful campaign. I just want to know, I received my package a couple days ago and uh, I wish I would have thought about filming the unboxing of it, but you know what? I got this far so far, and I'm going to introduce you to uh, to the rest of the people what I received from you guys and the Kickstarter campaign. And uh, the way I learned through your Kickstarter cam campaign was actually through a friend of mine, uh, fantasy artist Jeff Maricola, who seemed to really like your work. And uh, when I saw that he supported you, I actually wanted to do the same thing, and I'm glad I had a chance to do that here. So. Uh, for everyone else, Mark and uh, Stefan had uh, put together this campaign on Kickstarter. And I'm, I'm just going to read the back of the book here really quick. Uh, there's a lot more research that the individuals who are watching this video can do. Uh, just do a simple Google research called In's Mouth and it'll tell you some of the histories and the horror and fiction stories of, of what this book is about or what this book was inspired by. So. I'm just going to read the back. I hope you guys don't mind, Stefan, but um, I, I think I think the people watching would will appreciate it. So, H.P. Lovecraft uh, has become a legend among those of us with darker sensibilities. His mythos has inspired writers as diverse as Stephen King and William S. Burroughs. But what if there was more to Lovecraft's stories? What if his settings were not so imaginary? Renowned illustrator and comic artist Mark Nelson spent years researching the legends, the legends surrounding the fictional town of Innsmouth. Now, this is this is interesting to me because this is the reason why, uh, not because of, of um, what other people enjoyed from the Kickstarter program, but uh, like you, um, Mark, um, I research. Uh, Métis legend characters and the story and the teaching characters and this really resonates with me and that's why I was interested in, in getting this book and I'm glad it's here because now I can almost see or reference it perhaps or be inspired by what you discovered and hopefully apply it to my own master thesis uh, master of fine arts thesis so I'm going to continue reading here Um, so, renowned illustrator and comic artist Mark Nelson spent years researching the legends surrounding the fictional town of Innsmouth and discovered evidence that an artist named Manish Skovia traveled from the revolutionary Russia to Innsmouth in 1914 to create portraits of the Innsmouth elite. So these are the people, the, the characters of the town, the people of the town. 
Following the 1927 demolition of the town by the U.S. Army following an aggressive bootlegging raid, yeah, it was about that time period, wasn't it? Uh, Canada expired it or uh, experienced it also. Uh, the artist was never heard from again. Only rumors and fishy stories remain until Nelson stumbled upon a handmade portfolio housing the lost drawings of the uh, Dinsians of Innsmouth. So what a, what a fantastic introduction here uh, on the back of the book. So um, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to open up the book just a little bit here and, um, and perhaps uh, I could actually just show just a few, just a few pages, not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. There was one in here that I really like. Oh, I like this gentleman here. It's almost like a magician type character. I really like magic. I watch Penn and Teller all the time. <laughs> uh, Maximus. Oh, there's the golfer. Uh, the nursery market day. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, taking flight. Actually a drawing of a, of a pilot here. Very fascinating indeed. Um, yeah, so just uh, just some interesting, fantastic drawings. Just to show you really quickly a few of the images. And uh, along with the book, I, uh, I did a nice uh, pledge with you guys and I received some prints and things too. And I want to share that with you also. So uh, here's the back uh, page just to show you the cover. Um, so let me share you the print. So this was one item I got. I'll put that aside for now. So I haven't opened up this yet. Uh, I take it there's a few prints inside, so I can't wait to see it. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, na -na 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 -na. So, Ooh, plastic's a little tight. Let's just split the plastic open so I don't wreck the prints here. There we go. I should do it. Oh, I have to do the other side too. Delicate. I should know better. I, I do practice conservatory practices. So, so let's, uh, let's set that there for now. And uh, let's take a look at these prints. So uh, limited to an edition of 600 signed and numbered prints. So here's one gentleman. Very interesting actually. Oh, this one's got a little color in it. This one looks fascinating. Look at the detail in that work there. Can you guys see that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, this is, uh, this is kind of right up my alley with some of the work that I actually practice right now using different creatures and uh, putting on a, a male or female physique. Geez, that looks fantastic. So I got those three prints from here. Yeah, this <laughs> looks great. It looks great. I'll put that aside for now. I got uh, a couple of smaller items here. So let's take a peek in there. Uh, looks like I got a couple of bookmarks. And that's actually illustrated on the back there. Yeah, so a couple bookmarks, some uh, detail of an illustration on the back. And I like this one. This is, uh, this is interest me. Uh, something about the clothing, the detail in the clothing that, that I kind of like. A proud papa. And this is a postcard. Can you imagine this postcard traveling across the world? Imagine the stories that would have. It's interesting to think about. Fantastic. I really like this. I like the idea of the postcard. That's fascinating. And this one actually looks like a couple of prints in here. So let's open this up for you guys because I'm curious to see what this is, it is about here. All right, nice plastic, by the way. So this is called, titled, The Halloween Parade. 
and um, I am uh, 18, number 18 out of 200 limited edition prints. So that's pretty low. And I don't know about where you guys live, but here in Canada, the lower the edition of the print, so for example, 18 out of 200, usually uh, value-wise when it comes to, to the money, um, increases. So, so it's worth a little bit more. That's just based on my experience in the art industry. So, so let me show you guys this print. Look at that, eh? Oh, is that ever fantastic? Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, geez. I can't wait to study this to print a little bit closer to see the type of techniques that have been used. It almost has a woodcut type feel to it and then it was colored, but um, yeah, wow, that's fantastic. And the next one is called the May Day Celebration. And I think this is the one that was on the back of the book. Um, this one's interesting. I'm wondering if it has relation to the maypole at all, just because of the uh, of the relationship of the uh, of the pole and the people being attached to the pole there. It almost reminds me of um, some of the sun dance ceremonies that some of our First Nations people uh, use to celebrate. So this piece really tells a lot probably about the spirituality of these characters and maybe some of the practice that they follow so check that out guys so it looks like the same type of technique as the other one yeah so this one is 18 out of set of 100 prints as well too so we have the 18 out of 200 printed we got the 18 out of 100 printed so that's, uh, yeah, I tell you, geez, Mark and Stephanie, you guys did a fantastic job. This, this stuff looks phenomenal. And not only that, uh, the way uh, it's colored and printed and the style of it actually matches my coffee and end tables here in my apartment studio. <laughs> Whether that matters or not, but it, hey, it makes me feel good and it makes my, my, uh, um, what do you call it? When the clientele comes in and they come for a visit uh, to my studio here, um, they they notice it. They 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 like the the feel of the furniture. So, so this is going to add a lot of weight uh, a lot of weight to my my personal appearance and the way I perceive uh, uh, how I look towards people. So this this is great. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So. Anyways, um, that's it. I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, please keep me on your email list. I look forward to your next campaign if you guys host one. And um, I think I will sign off. Uh, for the viewers who get a chance to see this, I will link their website down below. You guys could check it out for yourself. And um, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. So. Take care. We'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.